Not feeling too hot today, so let's make some carrot ginger pumpkin soup or squash soup. It's a pumpkin to me. I cut up a whole bunch of carrots. I just got them from the food bank. Cut them up into whatever size you want, but this. I am gonna throw some uh, grapeseed oil on them. Some garlic. I think it's, it's a little rusty crusty, so. It's just granulated garlic and then some salt and pepper. Mix that around just with your spoon and just throw that on your pan. I also threw some garlic on there and then I'm just gonna put some oil on these guys and I'm going to bake in the oven, roast them for like 45 minutes at 400 until this is all soft and these are all soft. Okay, these are all roasty toasty soft and now I am going to throw some onion in here, um, a hot pot, and then I also cook, uh, cut up a whole bunch of ginger that I'm gonna throw in there as well. All right, just got like half an onion that I cut up and we're just gonna throw it in there. Use whatever you got. Okay, I've got that beautiful ginger too. I don't think it's gonna be too overpowering, but oh well, it's good for you. And I'm just gonna cook that down with the onions and I added a little bit of salt right now. Okay, ginger cooks very quickly. So add some garlic and cook that as well. Yum. Add in a splash of white wine or chicken broth or water, or whatever you got, and just uh, get all that yummy goodness off the bottom. Let it cook down for a minute, and it helps with your garlic and ginger not burning. Okay, for the squash or pumpkin, whatever, I tried to take off most of the skin, um, but it was really hot, so that's the best I could do. The best I wanted to do. Okay, now you're going to throw in all those yummy roasted carrots and that squash. Use your hands. Use whatever you got. I don't care. Mix that around so they marry a little bit. Yum. Then I'm going to add in some vegetable broth and just throw it in with some water and then mix all that around. That's just a carrot but I'm going to take it and now I am going to blend it and then I'll add all the rest of my seasonings. Y'all look at how smooth this is. It tastes so phenomenal. Okay, that looks pretty perfect, but I am going to add some coconut milk to make it a little thinner. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Okay, I just did the whole can with some extra ginger um, powder and some salt. That is perfect. That looks so good. I just threw some coconut milk on top and we'll see how my hubby likes it. My hubby loved it, so I'm very happy. So I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good night. Bye.